Warning! This channel is for adults only. I do not condone any illegal activities, and everything I record is for educational purposes only. With that said, I'm gonna teach you how to grow some weed. I've been getting a lot of feedback on my grow guides. Shout out to everybody on my Discord asking your questions. Y'all keep me in check and help me optimize my guides. So, one of my grow me started a hydro grow journal and this was his first time trying hydro. He was following my guide to a T, but for some reason on a res swap, his plants started growing spots and falling apart. We tried diagnosing, pH and PPM was good, environmental conditions were perfect, H2O2 was used, and in response, he bleached everything as a precaution. He even went off the guide and tried supplements like HydroGuard, Voodoo Juice, Piranha, and Tarantula. Nothing worked. We were both racking our brains trying to figure out what went wrong, but no matter what, after seven weeks, he threw in the towel and scrapped the whole project and tried again. I felt personally responsible for the failure, so I was keeping a close eye on his second grow journal, which included a clone of one of my females. Three weeks in, same problems. What the f- We had to figure this out. Every aspect of the grow was analyzed, and the only thing that was different was the water. So we looked up the local water reports, and there it was. Chloramine. If you don't know what chloramine is, that's okay, because I didn't know neither. Chloramine is in about 25% of the tap water supply in the U.S. It's a chemical compound of ammonia and chlorine, and it's used to kill microbacteria. The problem is, it doesn't evaporate like chlorine does, and this chemical is toxic to your plants. So to test whether or not this was the problem, my Gromi swapped out his res with store-bought water, and this is his plants now. All of the yellowing and browning stopped, and the plants are recovering perfectly. If you're like us, and you've been going crazy trying to figure out why your plants are always ugly, check your local water report. Every county is required to publish an annual report, and if you see chloramine in it, unfortunately, you're gonna need to get a dechlorinator or a reverse osmosis system. A link to the one I use is in the description. We grow, we learn, we share. If you value this information, like, comment, and hit that bell. La -da 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 -da. I'm gonna teach you how to grow some weed. How we grow,